Good morning, YouTube. Wolf Pilot checking in. It's Monday morning, Air Venture 2022. And I'm standing outside of 8344 Tango here. Get him in the, get him in the picture. And uh, bright, clear, well, partly cloudy morning. God, my face, I got a little bit toasty yesterday. Wasn't paying attention to, uh, was not paying attention to what was going on. And I did not take my sunscreen with me and I pay the, pay the absolute price for that. Anyway, uh, just we'll do a quick little shot here. See, it's beautiful morning. It's probably about 65, something like that here. Sun's coming up. It is, I don't even know what the hell time it is. I'm not even operating on a time schedule. It is, oh, it is 6.15. It's around, the sun came up early this morning. And of course, there was all this noise in the, in the infield. We had the truck emptying the dumpsters. So that's a loud diesel engine vibrating the ground, banging the big metal dumpsters, which probably weren't even anywhere near being full. You want to do something useful they should empty the porta shitters because those are disgusting <sighs> anyway um got a lot of stuff on tap today we're gonna i'm kind of working real slow getting up and uh we're gonna go to the uh, fly market i'll get some footage of that uh after fly market i think there's one or two seminars we're gonna do lunch and uh, i got a uh Aviation YouTuber gather at 2.30, Forum 8 uh, this afternoon. Uh, I think there's some air show stuff going on tonight. Probably, hopefully, hopefully get some good footage there. <sighs> Let's see. I haven't quite figured out where... Steve and I are seriously talking about pulling out Wednesday morning. Uh, so we'll have to see... We'll have to see how that works out. Um, uh, the weather for the rest of the week looks beautiful. Not, not even the slightest chance of rain or anything. So of course, naturally, we, we got the hell kicked out of a Saturday night, Saturday morning, but the rest of the week should be fine. And <clears throat> my friend Amir's coming in Wednesday. I think Bill Goble's coming in Wednesday, but we might not be here. Uh, just have to see what we want to do. And you know, it's got to husband your resources. It's going to be. A long flight back. We leave Wednesday as we predicted. We, if we get up to 4,500, we'll have a six knot tailwind. So we kind of, in our pre-flight planning last night, decided that if we can fly at 4,500 on the way back and just, just go as far as we can and suck up as much of that free, free mileage as we can. And if it gets hot, we'll have to climb up to 65 to cool off. And, and we, it won't be, or we'll have a headwind at that point, maybe a one or two knot, three knot headwind. Anyway, um, so that's kind of where we're thinking at. Kind of see what's going on here in, in the ye old campground. It's really quiet. This neighbor over here, November 78708, these guys showed up, a pair of them. They just tied down their plane and left. I haven't seen them since Saturday. Uh, they had their luggage with them, so I suspect they they probably are at a hotel, and they'll probably be here for the week, and they'll come back after a week and hope that their plane is still there, <laughs> and uh, and fly out here. Let's see this uh, plane uh, dir directly behind us, uh, November two five two one Tango. Haven't seen them, nor a six six sixty six hundred X ray. Same deal. There's a lot of people like that that are out here. They just came, parked their airplanes, and they're not camping. They're either in the some place. They're probably in a hotel or doing something. But uh, ah, six fifteen. I'm about to boy Walker and talk to the cheese curd taco guys. See how much longer before they. I don't know if they're gonna crank up breakfast tacos. Decide if I need to go over here and do my obligatory. Uh, uh, two dollar cup of coffee. See, I see the uh, bus is already running. I don't know if that's the South 40 bus. We can get up there. Let me see if I can even get a good high shot.
that these guys were out talking late last night. This dude over here and this cardinal with the insanely wide horizontal stabilizer and insanely long wingspan and super wide stance on the landing gear. <sighs> anyway, I need to contemplate conjuring food. Folks, first thing in the morning, <laughs> look at this. It's not even seven o'clock yet, folks. And just so everyone's completely up to speed, uh, row 129 of South 40 virtually, vintage camping. Wish I had my radio, whatever. Guys. Must have been a flight of damn near 26. into a crop Hey, good morning. That's it. I mean, that's it. That is it right there. That is the CDI I want to look at. I mean, it, you know. Yeah, I do G5. But this won't do that. No, no, it sure won't. Not at all. That is beautiful too. But you just get get this guy right there, and and have it. You know, that also would act as your HSI. So this would actually substitute one of the one of the uh, AV30s. The AV30 that's doing uh, HSI and DG. 
And it's a good place to put it, right there in the middle. Exactly. Oh, okay. There it is. I've got a radio. Did you get a car? Get to look at the cool Garmin audio panel. Okay. Oh, okay. And the autopilot. Yeah, I see. A couple of clips to see if they're all the same. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. You know, like, even with the two random pieces of glass, it's still the G5 on the back. And that G5 is, oh yeah, I was going to say, it doesn't stick out like this one. Well, Caitlin's, Caitlin's done either. She recessed hers into her dash. She has a square hole. How did she, how did she mount it? If you recess, they have a kit. A kit you can use, so you cut the square hole and just mount it from the back. Oh, okay, so they... Yeah, that's what she, she has, this little piece of metal. Did she build it or do they sell it? I think it's a kit. I think you you buy that. Yeah, so you're bolting it. So you bolt it to the kit and then you well. So and what you're doing here, you see it's a square it's a square instrument. I know, but you gotta make this a stud to get that you gotta get Well you mount you mount the instrument to this plate. Yeah, I know, that's and what then, I mean. And then the plate has studs on it, and then you gotta get these these bolts to tighten down. Well, look at this one right here. Oh, yeah. You gotta get that to tighten down. Well that that's your tightening right there. All you're doing is holding the instrument to this square piece of a square piece of aluminum. This is uh, flush riveted to the panel. Yeah, and you mount the, and it's got studs, and then you just mount the instrument to the studs. I got that's it. That's it. Good time. You didn't bring one with you, did you? With arrow LEDs. <laughs> The price down, so it's $250 now, moving forward. We just launched that today. That price for just, 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 well, We're going to put you to sleep with a butt flash oh, and light. Stop it. Burn out your retina, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god, it just fell apart. It broke the, it broke the sails display. Oh, I think it, it probably clicks, slides, and clicks on. There yeah. we go. That's why you don't have any screw holes. It's no, see, that, that's what he did. He had the little, the old rotating uh, nav light because you know, he had a real old airplane, but he replaced the bulb with those bulbs. It's all for the beacon. Well. <laughs> you know, one of the reasons you, uh, Come to AirVenture is to see Mike Patey. Now, that's Mark Patey. Oh, yeah. I've heard, I've heard Mike has the squinty. I try to tell him Mike with the eye because he has this kind of little bit of a squint little thing going. Well, you know, they're, they're, they're almost identical twins. You really have to look really, you have to look really closely in order to be able to tell them apart. <laughs> I think he should have a thing that says, I'm Mike. Uh, in his case, Mark. Well, exactly. Yes, absolutely. You're right. It's a conspiracy, really. Well, she was 22. She's actually priced with the UA Young. Yeah, but theirs does less. If you want to get the, the DG, that, that's all it does is DG for that money. Sweet. In case the car drips oil. Chris! How you doing? Hey Kim! I'm doing great! Great to see you too. I saw your plane. Saw the Baron parts yeah. out there. So I, was gonna, I was gonna say I should tuck a little note under the door handle that Wolf Pilot was here. <laughs> Are you gonna be at the thing at 2.30? Uh, yeah. You know, yeah, you gonna be there? Yeah, well, of course. Okay. You know, I'm, nobody knows who the hell I am or anything, so... <laughs> I don't even know who's going. But, you know... <laughs> Kim and Chris from Baron Pilot do, right? They, right? they recognize me walking right up, even though we didn't get a chance to really hang out a whole lot no. at uh, Dan's right, taping. Right. But, Have you been uh, all right? 
Man, I'm doing great. This was my first time up, well, I, first time flying up here. Okay. So I flew up in 4-4 Tango. All the people always say it's such a scary thing to do the approach and do all the wag your wings off. It was so easy. We flew around Green Lake, came around. Uh, when did you come in yesterday? Uh, Saturday. Saturday. How many did you come yesterday? I heard it was five incidents yesterday. Uh, I got one of them on tape. Uh, a 310. I heard about that one, yeah. Yeah, I saw him tagging on it and his right gear was like this. I go, oh my God, oh my God, it's going to go boom. There it went. The next thing you see is junk flying up everywhere and you just kind of. It was a real slow crash. I mean, right. they both got out pretty quick. So when you're sudden stop or anything, it's, right. it's one of those, you just feel your heart sinking. You're just going, oh, that's going to be expensive. Yeah, anytime I see that stuff, I pray, you know, I, my heart bleeds for the for people. And I just, I just kept thinking I, of Kevin, you know, but I know he sold his 310, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it looked a lot like it, with it the black and the red and everything. Um, it's heartbreaking. Anytime I see anything, that's just heartbreaking. I am not one of those guys that feel like, oh, cool. I'm not one of those guys. I'm like, oh, I, my heart, cool. my heart hurts. Uh, cool. <laughs> but anyway, right. oh yeah. Well, let me run. Let me run. I will see you at 2:30 then. We'll chat. We'll chat then. All right. I'm so there. behind on trying to get. I just flew in last night. I didn't get until like two o'clock in the morning. Oh my god. <laughs> see you guys later. That was Kim and Chris from Baron Pilot. Oh, okay. She can answer all your questions. <laughs> I can try. Am I on film now? We came up here from Plano, so we filed a flight plan. Okay. And did all of our due diligence, but we hold 52 gallons of fuel, and it calculated 53, so it would not let us enter that flight plan. So how do you take a flight plan and shove a landing in the middle of it where you get fuel? Uh, Besides making two separate yeah, flight plans. Have to do two. So we really. Okay. <laughs> so I, was trying, I was telling him the way I understood it was a flight is an action between point A and point B. Yeah. If you once you stop flying, you're no longer in flight, so that right. flight is over with. It's yeah. concluded. So that's why you have to make a new a second flight plan from point B to point C. Yeah. And it so, makes sense from that aspect. So we broke it up and we made two flight plans. And, and this was on the 21st and we came up on the 23rd. So I set it up for the 23rd, take off 7 o'clock in the morning, and I filed a flight plan. Okay. Well, they called me up, or actually four flight gave me a message saying, hey, why aren't you flying? You know, your flight plan needs to be, you know, it's activated when you're going to cancel it. And I says, uh, 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 so I called 100, 800 Weatherbridge. And, and talked to him and he said, oh, I'll cancel that flight plan, no problem. He said, what you should have done is you should have put in a, a, a pre-proposal flight plan and not do an inner flight plan. So how do you really do it? That sounds weird. Is this VOR so, flight plan? Yeah, VOR flight plan. And, and, he's, and of course he said, I'm not a full flight person. I said, well, too bad. You should be so I think what he did is he clicked activate on the flight plan instead of canceling out of that screen and then bringing that flight so plan back you, up and then you, activating it the really day of. How do you really do a, a flight plan in the future and then store it other than right here? Yeah, so you, you, if I have my flight plan here and it's VFR, right. I go proceed to file. And I, I did that. Well, I'm not connected to the internet. Um, you proceed to file, and then you file, but you don't press activate until you're on really Oh, flight. you file, but you don't press activate. See, I thought you had to press activate to, activate is to make just it work. calling flight service to get, um, you know, telemetering flight. And so they thought you were in flight, and you didn't land. You didn't call to close it, because you weren't really. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah. now, now, how can I close a flight? I, I have a VFR flight on a VFR flight plan. I land. Can I close it with four flights? Yes. How do I do that? Well, so you have the activate button there. So I've activated it. I fl I've flown it. Once you activate, then you'll get a close button. Yeah. And you're done. You're on the ground. You press. Yeah, or have a have a phone in your iPad. Yeah. 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 So what you do is you just go like you're going to activate a flight plan, but you and you get that menu you just put close. Yes. It'll show a button right down here that'll say close or cancel or something like that, and that's what you tap to. Uh, 
Uh, does Fort Flight have a simulator? Or is that the, the third level? What's up? The girl that was talking to us this morning, this is who she works for. Oh, okay. This is McFarland. And I bet she's here working the booth. Let me show you. That isn't Oh, see, they sell these things like, you know, your flap rails. Uh huh. These, this monster wears out. These things wear out. These you can replace. This is a bitch to replace this guy. Because you got to go into the wing for that. Well, you got to do. You got to do a little bit of cheap, uh, riveting work. This you can just replace these. See, you can actually, you can get through, through here. You can get to this one, but you can't. You can't. It's not easy to get to this one. And here's our air box. I like, I like that uh, brake parking brake setup right there. That's pretty cool. You see, this is. You remember the blue cable we got? Uh, this they made it for me. I sent my old cable in, and they made it. And and uh, see this right here. All right, I figured I'd break in here, sporting my par for the course hat. It's my food, drink, new friends over here. They'll be on the Wolf Pilot channel. They don't know it yet. Before I go and meet some other YouTubers. I'm not gonna make you watch me eat. See ya. All right, folks, it's a bit noisy here. I hope you can hear me. Wow, I'm gonna face the Fred and the Big Fighter. A little bit of sun, he might put on some more schmoo. Anyhow, uh, here in Forums 8, I just got done. Uh, my head is hot. Just got done with the uh, aviation YouTube. It was more like a QA kind of a thing or meet and greet YouTubers and it was put on by Dan Milliken and Martin Pauly. Both excellent, excellent video people. And uh, anyway, there's all kinds of uh, famous people here walking around. I'll, oops. Pan around here. Got a uh, Baron Pilot hanging out here talking. We got another very important guy. <laughs> See how you doing? This guy right here, he comes to almost all of our events. I am so That's sick that I missed the last one. And it was the most epic one ever. I could have been giving Discovery flights. So that was our 19th event. Did you realize that? So this next one will be the 20th? Yeah, be That's the awesome. I'm there. I don't care what the hell is going on, I am there. Are we going to be doing Discovery flights? Can I give a Discovery flight? I do grass. I go to uh, Cedar Mills all the time. Love landing on grass. No problem. So, uh, let's see. Uh, here on the <laughs> Oh, you're fine. Oh, sorry. It's over here. It's a little pilot. Hey, what's going on, Just Plane Silly? Hello. I'm sorry, this is, we got Scott Purdue. Let's see, who else we got showing up here? Uh, around here. There's this other dude here. I'm not in anybody else's picture. <laughs> No, it's not. And then I got those people who knew what it is. So this is the fire pilot. He's cool. He flies a twin, and he doesn't really have a mustache. That is actually a furry Halligan tool. It is. It's right there. It's, yeah, yeah. This is my set of irons right here. <laughs> it's like Chuck Norris. It's not a yeah. beard. It's a third fist. <laughs> right there. And we haven't met yet. I'm Jay, the Wolf Pilot. Nice to meet you. And what, uh, what's yeah. your channel? Uh, Dirtbag Pilot. Dirtbag Pilot. What's your name? Seth. Seth. Okay. Uh, didn't mean to bring it there. I just thought you could take us some random pictures of people. And uh, in case you want to see what the hell is going on here, we got. This is an air show. If you didn't know it, people actually pay money to come to these things and watch uh, carbon emissions go up. And uh, oh, this guy over here, his name is Kevin. Kevin Schaefer. He's he's really cool. He looks kind of like Gilligan, but it, we don't get any points off it. That's cool. <laughs> He's got <those. laughs> 
see. Try not to interrupt conversations. We got these two dudes over here. Ryan, the missionary bush pilot who flies out of Papua New Guinea, and he flies in one of the most awesome airplanes. It is a uh, Kodiak. Big turboprop. I think it, just imagine a Winnebago with wings. It's awesome. Now, this other guy is uh, 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 Carl, and he is flying with the guys. And one day I will get to fly with him. That'll be really, really cool. Let's see here. Then we have this dude, Ryan Dombrowski, and his, his channel is Super Arrow. And every Wednesday night, he goes live and people has different unique guests on his show. Now, I am not different and unique enough to be on his show yet. Uh, maybe one day in the future, but we'll see how that works out. And then we got Christy Wong of Wong Warrior uh, Notoriety, I guess. Bad word. I don't, I don't know. I'm Jay, the Wolf Pilot. Yeah, What's that? Man, I am having the time of my life. This is awesome. Yeah. Uh, we'll get back with you. I know I'm totally missing out. something out on their printer to cover up the existing tail. Osh 22. I do a entry here. Didn't uh, fire up the cooking, but uh, this is the chosen heating apparatus for, to, 
for this weekend's adventure. It's a Coleman propane bottle with this little burner. Steve provided some hot dogs and some buns, some booze. So uh, yep, we got everything we need. Right? So folks, we are just out here. We're roughing it. And uh, in another development, we had November 5230 Mike. He decided to park him right over here. They must have filled right? up this whole uh, village area, and uh, they had to put planes everywhere. Yeah, this is ins insane. But yeah. we're gonna go probably walk around t tomorrow. Go just walk the back 40 south of us here and see. There's another 175 we need to go look at, and um, there's actually two. There's supposed to be a yellow one four doors over there, and there's supposed to be another one over here at like 78. Yeah, something like that. 78, yeah. 79, something like. that.